A legacy sequel that honors its roots and flourishes beyond expectations. Going in, I was a little bit nervous despite hearing all of the hype. Legacy sequels can be great or they can be disasters and sometimes even somewhere in between. I mean, it's been 36 years. Will they recapture the same magic? Will Tom Cruise do something crazy cool? Will they respectfully handle Val Kilmer? Will the story justify its own existence? Can they re replicate what Tony Scott achieved without him present yet also honor him? The answer to all of these is an unequivocal yes. Joseph Kaczynski has outdone himself. I've only seen one of his other films, Oblivion, which I really liked. His direction mirrors Scott's in the best of ways, again, honoring, you'll hear that word a lot today, what came before while not being afraid to be inventive and new. I'm particularly floored at the scope of the aerial cinematography. I cannot begin to fathom the colossal effort that went into the directing of these scenes, of the production teams, of the cameras. It's insane. There's a sense of realism, of grit, that actually comes with the actors getting to be in the planes. It's unreal, yet hyper real. The Navy pilots who did some of these outrageous stunts should be lauded. Amazing stuff. 90% practical and just the right amount of CGI sprinkled in for some explosions and other movie magic moments. Make it breathtaking, quite literally, to watch. I also really appreciate the story. Maverick's arc is a logical, emotional, well-written ride that touches on relevant themes such as pilots versus drones, aging, legacy, forgiveness, protection, friendship, and honor. It's actually pretty refreshing to have a movie so blatantly wholesome in its approach. Even in the love scene that's tastefully and respectfully done, even if I found some of it not really needed. When so much of cinema nowadays is about the deconstruction of heroes or pushing agendas in said content. Not saying that's always a bad or good thing, it has its place, but I just like the straightforward nuance on display here. Tom Cruise gives one of his best performances ever, both in and out of the plane. You can tell how personal this project was to him. And when you read up on the actors having to learn how to operate their own cameras inside the cockpits, it just elevates every performance. But back to Cruz, there's a particularly touching scene between he and Val Kilmer that moved me to tears. To see that kind of deep male friendship respected between two Hollywood giants on screen in 2022 in a legacy sequel is beautiful. They do something really cool there too, and uh, just be prepared for smiles and tears. Another thing I loved is how the mission of the story of the plot takes more of a forefront and follows the entire movie like a cloud. When it comes, it's not a random urgent thing, kind of like in the first one, but the buildup and the payoff is emotionally exhausting in the best of ways. You'll gasp, you'll shout, you might cry again, and you may even find yourself clapping like my theater did. It goes on a little longer than anticipated, which is not a bad thing, and there's a few logic jumps, but for the sake of the magic that I'm feeling during all of it, I truly don't mind. I'm just astounded by the quality of this all around. The respected demands, but the respect it also gives. I dare say that it has surpassed the original for me. I loved it so much. I actually kind of hope there's another one. And yet, I don't need it. I'm perfectly fine if they end it here as a perfect duology. I think probably my only other criticism is that for a film so focused on legacy and honor, the complete lack of reference to Kelly McGillis' character seems like a gaping hole. This felt a little weird, even if the story and time away from the story of the first one justified it working without her, a line of dialogue or a throwaway reference would have been nice. Or even a cameo, but she wasn't even contacted, which I just don't like that. But seeing this with one of my best friends who's a pilot in the Air Force and my older brother who's an aer aerospace engineer, in the Air Force town I grew up in with other service members around was a special experience. But thanks for the effort, Cruz, and your team. Your message at the beginning of the film was warm, welcomed, and earnestly paid off. I give Top Gun Maverick five out of five stars. Thank you so much for watching. What did you think of Top Gun Maverick? Does it surpass the original for you? Do you think it's overrated? Are you even a fan of the original? Let me know in the comments below. Continue to stay subscribed, hit that like button, and I just really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Look forward to hearing your thoughts, and yeah, come back soon.